In this lesson, I'll teach you how to convert a Wikipedia page or any other text that you have into a podcast. We will use several web pages. The first one will be ChatGPT that will help us to convert the text into a podcast script. Later on, we will use Flicky and PlayHT. Both of the websites are capable of creating a podcast. There are several differences between them. For instance, PlayHT is more free to use while Flicky is free only for practicing or demonstration. The second difference is that PlayHT is only for text-to-speech. It can create podcasts of conversations just by pasting the text there and letting the AI to convert the text into speech. While on Flicky, you can add more audios like music or sound effects to your podcast. So let's start by looking for a data on Wikipedia that we want to convert into a podcast. So for this matter, I will choose the value discourse community from Wikipedia. Now I want to convert all this text from text into a podcast. First, let's copy the text, then click on Ctrl-C, and now we will go to ChatGPT and transfer it to a transcript. On ChatGPT, I will write the following instruction or prompt. I want to convert this Wikipedia page into a podcast, a conversation between two people. Also, wherever there is a quote or an example in a quotation mark, make a third person speak. Then I can paste either the text or the link to the website. The first person is an interviewer. His name is Marco. The second person is an expert in discourse communities. His name is Dan. The third person is a female narrator. Her name is Francesca. I'll write this prompt on ChatGPT and I'll click on Enter. When the transcript is ready, you can open a new tab and log in to Play HT. Just write Play HT and click on the link where it says Play.ht. Register to this website by clicking on Try for free. Then click on Sign up with Google. Click on your email, and if needed, answer the rest of the questions in the registration procedure. In order to start to create the podcasts, go back to ChatGPT and copy the first text. For example, Marco, the interviewer, is saying, Welcome, Dan. Can you explain what a discourse community is? I'll now copy the first text and I'll paste it in the first box. Then I'll click on Enter and now I can see the second box. In the second box, I will paste the second text. This text is what Dan answers to Marco. Absolutely, Marco, a discourse community is a group of people sharing a set of discourse and so on. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it inside the second box and I continue to paste the rest of the text that is in the script. When you finish, scroll back to the top of the page and now you need to start to change the narrator's name. For example, the first one that is talking is Marco. I will change the name of the narrator from Sarah to another name. I will look for a male voice, maybe American or British, that will speak on behalf of Marco. So for me, William, it's okay. I'll click on the name, then I'll click on Confirm. Now I need to change the second person. This one is Dan. So instead of Sarah, I will choose, for example, Oliver, and click on Confirm. Let's check the third one. The third one is again, Marco. So as we said, Marco will be William. So instead of Sarah, I will choose William, and I'll click on Confirm. Let's go to the fourth one. The fourth one is Dan. So instead of Sarah, it will be Oliver. Then click on Confirm. The fifth one is Francesca, so I need to find a woman voice. In order to do this, I can simply leave Sarah or change it to someone else. For example, Susan, I will leave it with Sarah. Complete to change all the narrators. When you finish, click on Generate All. You can see on the lower part of your screen the timeline that is being created when it's finished. You can click on Play and listen to your podcast. Welcome, Dan. Can you explain what a discourse community is? Absolutely. Marco. A discourse community is a group of people sharing a set of discourses, which are basic values and assumptions, along with ways of communicating about their goals. It's a concept first used by sociolinguist Martin Nistrand in 1982 and further developed by John Swales. And what are the key characteristics of these communities? Swales outlined six defining characteristics. Shared public goals, mechanisms of intercommunication, use of participatory mechanisms for feedback, use of genres to further aims, a specific lexis, 
and a threshold level of expertise among All language is the language of community. The terms used, their meaning, their definition, can only be understood in the context of the habits, ways of thought, methods, external circumstances, and tradition known to the users of those terms. Shane Perelman and Lucy Obrex Tysita. How does one become a part of these communities? It's more than just learning the language. It involves understanding the community's concepts and expectations. There's also a contrast with speech communities where language or dialect is inherited. Can you give an example of a discourse community? Sure, academic journals or online forums for specific interests are typical examples. Each has its own rules and ways of interaction. Producing text within a discourse community cannot take place unless the writer can define her goals in terms of the community's interpretive conventions. Patricia Bizzell, it seems that online environments have transformed these communities. Absolutely. They evolve through stages like orientation and experimentation and redefine themselves through communication among members. But are there criticisms of this concept? Yes. Some argue that it emphasizes uniformity and cooperation too much, overlooking the complexities and dynamics of real-world discourse. Fascinating. Thanks for sharing your insights, Dan. Pleasure, Marco. Thanks for having me. If you want to download your podcast as an MP3, you can click on Export and click on As a Single Audio File. When the file will be ready, it will be automatically saved to your download folder. Let's do the same with the other website. Look for the website flicky.ai, then click on Sign Up and just follow the registration procedure. When you finish and you want to start to create your podcast, click on New File, select Audio Only, select the language, I want it to be in Italian for now, and select the dialect, Italy. Give it a name. So I want to change with ChatGPT the text from English to Italian, and to ask it for a name, I'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll write Translate to Italian. I will copy the name and I'll go back to Fleeky and I'll paste the name here. Then I'll choose Start with Empty File. Click on Submit and now you can start to create your podcast. On the left side, there is the timeline of your podcast. You can see different scenes. Each scene comes after the other scene. In each scene, you can add more than one layer. The layers will be heard simultaneously. When you click on a scene, you can see the properties on the right side. Those are the properties of the common scene. When I click on the first scene, those are the properties of the first scene. The gray square is the preview, and you can click on play and to hear your podcast. Let's start from the left side with the common scene. You can upload an audio that will be heard during the whole conversation. If you like to do this, click on Choose File. If you don't want to click on the trash can, delete and delete again. If you regret, you can just click on Add Layer and add a background audio to the common scene. Let's start with the first scene. In the first scene, you will paste the text of the first speaker. So I'll go back to my chat GPT and I'll copy what Marco is saying. Then I'll go back to Fleeky and I'll paste it here. I need to decide who is the narrator. Now it's Elsa. I will click on it and I'll choose gender male. And I'll choose, for example, Lisandro. And I'll click on select. Now, Lisandro will be the voice of Marco. If I want to add the second text, see click on add new scene and now go back to chat GPT. Copy what Dan is saying. Go back to Fleeky and paste it here. Then I need to change the narrator from Lisandro, for example to another male, which is Alessandro. Click on Select. In that way, you can just copy and paste the rest of the text. But as I said, there is a reason why we learn Fleeky as well as play HT. So, as I said, you can add another layer to the same scene or to add an audio to your podcast. So, for example, I want to hear an intro music before Marco is talking. In order to do that, I'll click on the plus button and add new scene. 
Later on, I can move it up before the first scene. And now I'll need to change the voiceover to audio. I cannot change the voiceover to audio, but what I can do is to delete the voiceover. Click on Delete. I still have the place for scene number 4. I'll click on Add Layer and I'll add an audio. And now I can click on Choose a File and to look for Stocky Library or My Library. Stocky Library are audios like music and sound effects. Some of them are open and you can use them. Some of them are closed. They're only for paying subscribers. But if I want, I can go to my library and just choose a file and to upload a file from my computer. So in order to find an audio file, you can use Pixabay. Open a new tab and write Pixabay. Click on Enter and enter the first link. Choose music instead of all images. Now write a tag for the music that you're looking for. Something happy, something sad, something maybe horrific. So I wrote podcast. And now what I want to do is to find only short music that I can upload as an intro music. I'll click on the filter duration and I'll choose 0 to 30 seconds. Now I can click on play and listen to the different files. On the right side, you can see how long each one of them. What is the duration? So I want something quite short. I'll look for 13 seconds. I can click on play and listen. And if I like it, I'll just click on download. And the file will be saved to my download folder. I'll go back to Flicky. And now I will click on choose file. I'll click on the file that I downloaded and I will wait for the file to be uploaded to my library. Then I'll click on the file and the file will be heard as the fourth scene. But as I said, I want it to be the first scene so I can click on the move this scene up. And I'll do this again. Another step up and another step up. So now this is the first scene and only after that Marco will start to speak. If you want to listen to your podcast in a preview mode, scroll back the slider to the left side. Click on Play for Preview. For Preview. Benvenuto, Dan. Puoi spiegarci cos'è una comunità discorsiva? If you want the music to be heard while Marco is speaking, you can also add another layer to scene number two, as I said before. The layers are being heard simultaneously. So I'll click on scene number two, I'll click on add layer, and I'll click on audio. Now I'll choose a file and I want the same file, the Jazz logo. But this time I want it to be heard a little bit in a lower volume because otherwise we will not be able to hear Marco speaking. So when I click on the layer audio, then on the right side, on the properties bar, I can just lower the volume, for example, to 20 or 15. Then I'll scroll back the timeline slider and click on play to start the preview. I'll start from here. Benvenuto, Dan. Puoi spiegarci cos'è una comunità discorsiva? Certamente, Marco. Una comunità discorsiva è un gruppo di persone che condividono un insieme di discorsi, valori di base e presupposti, oltre a modi di comunicare sui loro obiettivi. If you want to change a little bit the speed of the speakers of the audio, you can just click on the audio. I want it to be a little bit faster. And I want Marco to speak a little bit slower. Let's scroll back and click on play. When you finish to create your podcast, simply click on download and click on start export. Click on start. When your podcast will be ready, you'll get an email saying that you can download the podcast to your computer. You can close this tab if you want, or you can just wait for the podcast to be ready. When it's finished, click on download file and the file will be saved to your download folder.
Let's see other examples of what you can do with the first prompt. Let's say that I want to create a podcast from a file or a research paper that I wrote. So instead of converting a web page into a podcast, you can convert, for example, your research page or your research paper. So, convert this research paper into a podcast, a conversation between two people. Also, wherever there is a quote or an example in a quotation mark, make third person speak. Then I'll delete the link to the Wikipedia page and I'll continue by saying the first person is an interviewer. His name is Marco. The second person is the writer of the research paper. His name is Dan, and the third person is a female narrator. Her name is Francesca. Then I need to upload my research paper. If you don't use ChatGPT4, you will not be able to upload a file. So instead of this, just copy the text and paste it on the same prompt that you're writing. Then click on Send, and wait for the transcript to be written. And of course, you know the rest of the work that you need to do. You can think of other options of how to convert text into a podcast. And mainly to think what is the reason for doing this. What is the quality and what are the potentials of podcasts instead of just giving or writing a text?